Night from Bessemer, a suspect running from police hopped a fence, but it wasn't police who took him into at least temporary custody on the other side. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon live in Bessemer tonight where it all started with a business break in, right Hillary? Jack, that's right. This business right behind me, Burnco Aluminum, they had given a call to police around midnight on Saturday. And I spoke to the manager on the phone who told me the security guard saw three people come near or on the property. So they called police and a fur pursuit shortly began after. And it was thanks to some neighbors that it stopped. Raul Pierce knows how to protect his family and his property. They were trying to get away. The only thing is they picked the wrong place to jump into. Early Saturday morning, police say they caught one suspect trespassing Burbco Aluminum just blocks away from Pierce's property. But according to Lieutenant Christian Clements, when they realized there were several suspects, they set up a perimeter and a game of hide and seek resulted in two more arrests with the help of citizens. Those citizens were Pierce and his dogs. And they said, well, there's still another one. So that's when I said, okay, I came in and got my dogs and I let them out. And they found him real quick. Like I said, I put my gun in and told him, I said, freeze. I said, do not move. Pierce says he kept the suspect down until he could get police back on his property. He kept begging me to let him get on the trunk of the car to keep the dogs from getting him. I told him the dogs was the least of his worries. I said that nine pointed at his head was what he better be worrying about. Pierce says soon after, police took the last suspect that the dogs caught. He says he would do it again. You come into a locked up area with a six foot high chain link commercial fence around it with barbed wire. You're not in here for good. Now, Lieutenant Clemens says formal charges have not been given just yet because they are still investigating, but Lieutenant Clemens does tell me that they do suspect charges coming very soon. Live in Bessemer, Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.